Okay, he just called right in front of us. He actually called right on top of the hill that we're trying to get to. Back up a touch. Oh, he's right there. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. This is the Hunter DD33 and today we're going to be trying to find a non-typical whitetail buck with a bow. So today we're out here on Rogaro Bayou and I would say this is probably one of the best areas that you're going to find a non-typical. That is because it's so open and you can see for a long ways. Not only that, if you pick up a track, a lot of times it will lead you out to the middle of the swamps. And I've seen not only one or two, but I've actually seen three non-typicals taken on this map. I've never actually gotten one, but I've tracked them down and actually gave other people the track. And he ended up getting like a 255 non-typical. But anyways, the point is there's some non-typicals out here. And you can see all the way out in these openings here, all the way along this ridge line. And that's pretty much where you want to hunt. I would recommend starting over here on this uh, north lodge and work your way along the edge not too close to the edge of the water but just right on the edge of the swamp lands there and pretty much come right past this pond and most likely you're going to pick up a nice white tail buck track somewhere along this path all right so we just spotted our first white tail buck he looks like a pretty nice one it's been about 20 25 minutes now of not seeing anything and i just noticed something over there and it is a really nice buck it looks like about a 150 160s buck something like that 140 to 165 90 to 100 kg so a really nice white tail buck we're gonna see if we can get in position to uh, try and call him in now I'd like to find sort of like a fallen stump somewhere to climb up on but I don't see anything there's one right there I guess we could try and get to that one but there should be one yeah no we can't go any closer we're just going to have to hang tight right about here and climb up on that stump to the right of us. He looks to be about a 150s. He has a score estimate of 140 to 165 on him and he is a 10 point buck. We've actually been trying to find a buck now for uh, about 20 real time minutes and this is the first buck that we found. So I'm pretty happy with that. And right there he's 60. So yeah, once he gets on this hill, he'll be he'll definitely be in range. about 46 right there we'll get ready for him to come this way I'm not sure if he's gonna stop right there or what he's gonna do let's get out our camo pulser here and see if we can make the shot Shoot about 20 25 right there oh we actually hit a touch back still should have got a single lung on him though Let's go check. That might have actually been body. He was quartering at us and we should have hugged tight to that front shoulder, but we hit a little bit too far behind. Yeah, that's body. That is definitely body. That's all right, we'll give him a little bit of time. He'll go down. So we just got a call from another whitetail buck right over here as we're trying to track down the one that we have hit. Now, we probably could have run tracked that whitetail, but we didn't want to. We wanted to stay crouched the whole time. And I just got an eye on this whitetail. It looks like it's like a 120s buck. But you never know, it could have been a giant. So it's a good thing we stayed crouch. And this buck should come in this direction. And we should have ourselves another buck here pretty soon. I was thinking about trying a 60 meter shot with the reverse draw crossbow, but with this wind, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So we're gonna have to let him come closer and we'll go for maybe a 40 or 50 yard shot. All right, let's see what we have here. He is about 50. Pretty broadside. If you stop, we would definitely take a shot. Wow, he doesn't want to stop. Let's try and stop him. I don't know if he's trying to go around. Yeah, that's what he was doing actually. He's trying to go around and then come right towards us. Well, in that case, let's go prone. And we'll get over here behind this tree. And we might be able to take him out with a camel pulser depending on how close he gets. All right. So he should be about 35, 40 right there. And right, we're gonna take a shot on him with the camel pulser. Oh, 
Got him. And he's down. All right, now let's go run over here and go pick him up because if there was any other bucks around, they would have taken off already anyways. Let's pick this buck up. We made a shoulder blade, lung, and liver stomach shot on him at 28 meters, and he scored 108.4. So technically, that's our first buck of the hunt, actually, even though we did hit another big one. That's the first one that we actually were able to find because the other one, we didn't quite hit the greatest. I want to take a look at him and see where we did hit him, though. I thought we had a solid hit on him. If anything, it should have been intestine, not body. All right, here's our buck down right here. Let's take a look at him. He's in a pretty cool position, actually. Nice buck. Yeah, he looks like he should be a 149, 150s buck. Let's take a look at that shot. Just a touch low, and that might have been shoulder blade, actually. I don't know. It looks like a decent shot to me. Let's pick it up. And we got it at 26 meters in the body. It scores 156.1, so he's... A little bigger than I thought. I thought he was going to be like a 149, 150s, but he's a little bit closer to 160s mark. And it looks like our shot was a little bit low. Maybe we used the wrong pin on it. Yeah, we were definitely low on that. If we were a little bit higher, we probably would have been lung and liver, but still a great white tail. So let's take a cool picture of him. So we just got a call from another white tail buck right over here. And the wind's blowing right towards him, so we're going to try and get over to this side and go left and get in between one of these uh, trees here. Oh boy, I hope we can make it there. Uh, I don't think we can make it. Okay, good. It looks like we're going to be able to make it. We haven't put out a call yet because I don't want him to come right towards us and end up smelling us. We do have some cover spray, which we could use, but I like to use that only if I know it's going to be a giant buck. So let's put out a call right here and get his attention. Ooh, there's a nice fallen tree right there we could probably use. Now let's start going left. Let's see, he should be about 80 or 90 meters away from us at least. Maybe even 100. I don't think he was coming this direction. Yeah, he definitely called somewhere out in this direction here. I hear something. I see something. And that is indeed a buck. It's a small one though. Yeah, tiny buck. That should be the buck that called from before though. He stopped there at about 20. Dropped him. I'm not 100% sure that's the buck that called. Okay, yeah, it is the buck that called. I can see the orbs lit up right now. All right, let's go over and go pick him up. For being such a small buck, he was pretty smart. He tried to sneak around all the way around the other side and come in. We made a double lung heart shot on him and he scored 58. So we just got eyes on another white tail buck. This one looks like it could be a 120s buck. He's right out here on the peninsula. I don't know if he's spooked or what, but he didn't put out a call. I located him way before uh, he saw us. And I was just trying to see if there's anything on this whole island here. So as we were trying to sneak over to the other buck, we just got a call from another buck over here. And I just picked up the track from that buck as well. And it's 80 to 90 kg. So you never know what that buck could be. This buck over here is only going to be like a 110, 120s buck. But this buck here has potential to be even bigger. So we're going to check this one out first and see if we can't get this one. Then we're going to go back over and probably go after the other one depending on what happens. Now the wind's actually blowing right directly at this buck, so we had to use some cover spray. That way he won't be able to smell us if we get close up here. Okay, he just called right in front of us. He actually called right on top of the hill that we're trying to get to. So that kind of changes the plans of everything. I don't know what we can do now. Well, I guess we're gonna have to swing a little bit more to the right and let him walk past us. And if we can get by this tree, we might be able to take him out with the chemo pulser depending on how big he is. I did not expect him to come right directly towards us, so I was hoping to get on that hill. But at least there's a tree here. And he should keep coming. I'm gonna back up a touch. Oh, he's right there! Can't, is he big? I can't quite tell if he's big or not. How does he see us? We're laying here prone. Uh, no, he's like a 110 buck. Got him. Oh, 130 to 150s. He was a little bigger than I thought. 
Wow, he got pretty close to us. That's a very interesting score on uh, on this buck. It looks like it's going to be like a 130 buck. What's it going to score? 131.6. We got a left lung, hip bone, and neck shot on him. Yeah, it's a very cool rack on him. Normally, these kind of racks are 120s or 115 bucks, even like a 125, but I've never seen like a 130 buck like this. So that's interesting. All right, we do have this other buck over here now, but there could be some more bucks down here as well because there's a bunch of tracks. All right, so we have another buck coming in here. This one's uh, about a 115 score. Not quite as big as I was hoping, but we picked up a decent track. We tracked him for a little while, and this is what it brought us to. So we're going to take the shot on this buck as soon as he stops. Shoot, about 20, 25. There's also another buck across the lake. Is he going to stop? He didn't want to stop. All right, well, after tracking that buck for a little while, we ended up losing his tracks because we took a shot with the 10 millimeter, and I think that must have jumped that buck up again. Unbelievable shot if you could even touch that deer out there. It says he's 320, and there's no use in not trying, so we're going to go prone and see if we can't make a 300 meter shot on this whitetail. And anybody who's hunted Regaro Bio knows it's really difficult to track an animal that's not hit very well because the tracks just, they're so hard to find. All right, well, anyways, I think that's going to be a pretty good way to end this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.